Are you looking for an auto rifle? Another one. An auto rifle that's not exactly meta. It's in an archetype that arguably has one of the worst time to kills currently in the game. Fellas, this is a hard sell. I don't know how to sell you this auto rifle other than on the hopes and dreams that 450 round per minute auto rifles may get a buff in the near future. Do got sandbox changes coming up? It may happen. But today, guys, we're going to be looking at honestly, to me, the best 450 round per minute auto rifle in this year's Festival of the Lost. Again, the other one you can get is hard story. I don't like horror story. It's just got like funky recoil and hit registration, which is the direct opposite of Bray Tech Werewolf. Bray Tech feels really, really good. And had it been present in an archetype that actually has a decent time to kill value, Bray Tech would be phenomenal. But today we're going to be reviewing it from the perspectives of PVE and PVP because yes, we do have some really good PVE roles I wanted to go over. And we're going to be talking about the curated role because yes, if you've gotten Bray Tech before, you could pull the curated role straight from your collections. And to me, honestly, honestly, is probably the best roll out of all of these. It actually comes with hammer forge rifling, armor piercing rounds for that bump there in range, zen moment, and multi-kill clip. Now, multi-kill clip, I kind of look at that perk as more of a PvE perk as PvP, as it's a lot easier to stack three stacks of multi-kill clip inside of PvE than inside of PvP, although it does have a place inside of PvP. One beautiful thing about multi-kill clip, you can immediately proc it. You don't have to time yourself on your reloads. You know, a kill clip, you get a kill and you reload, and if you get a kill too fast you got to kind of wait for a second before you can reload and then sometimes you mess up your timing and you lose kill clip multi kill clip though has the ease of use of a gazelle you can immediately reload and upon reloading at just one stack you get a 17 percent increase there in damage two stacks is 33 percent matching that of kill clip and at three stacks it caps out at 50 percent extra damage super nasty now this buff also applies inside of pvp as well actually increasing the crit shot damage here of Bray Tech from 28 damage per crit to 32 or somewhere around that mark it's like 27 damage per crit instead of 28 again rounding in destiny is kind of funky regardless though this is enough damage to kill guardians in 0.67 seconds at five or six resilience or less now it's like five or six get some rounding five for sure six kind of up in there regardless though mid resilience guardians would die in 0.67 now that's with multi kill clip which is kind of sad considering that 600 round per minute auto rifles can kill by default at 0.7 seconds with more forgiveness needless to say guys 450 is sitting at a nice default 0.93 second time to kill value optimal and 1.47 body shot time to kill value is not exactly meta that's why you don't see four 50s. Other archetypes of auto rifles can kind of still work around that. Like to me, I think 360s are still good enough, right? Barely good enough. Half Dan, Age O Bond, False Promises, you could still get by with those 360s. And then of course you got rapid fire auto rifles that have a 0.77 time to kill value, although they do lack in the range department. Regardless though, there are a number of archetypes that can hang, except for precision auto rifles. So understand what you're going up against, even though Bray Tech is popping off right here. And I very much like this curated row inside of BVP, there are limitations. You'll most notably see them when you're in a 1v1 duel against a gnawing hunger. It's demoralizing, man. But overall, multi-kill clip is extremely nice and more than enough damage to get the job done. Zim moment was probably one of the biggest contributing factors here to keeping the weapon stable, which is extremely nice. The range stat being 95 with both hammer forge, armor piercing rounds, and that range masterwork, it was sexy. That that is one of the benefits of 450s it's the extended range that these weapons have although even though it does have extended range be prepared to have well your, your shots kind of blank you know that's that's the issue like there gets to a point where your shots just don't seem to register as well now i do have another role this one's actually our outlaw kill clip role this is a good role doesn't have the range stat that our other break tech has the curated version it also doesn't have the stability i didn't mind it because it made up for it with lethality outlaw kill clip is always a great combination but hands down after playing with both the curated role and this role i I would much rather take the curated role over my random role, which actually takes us to the random role portions of this Braytech auto rifle. We're going to talk about this for PvP and PvE, guys. Don't worry. First up, notice that in the random roles, there's no Zim moment. That's right. Zim moment is only present on the curated role, which is a killer. I don't know why they did this. I guess to just give more value to the curated role. I don't know. There's also no multi kill clip, which is also a bummer. I thought multi kill clip works really well here, especially with the damage that 450s put out inside of PvE. But if you're looking to find the 
god roll. First, let's go over our PvP consistent rolls. Dynamic Sway, definitely the option to go with here. I felt the noticeable difference going from the Zim Moment roll to my Outlaw Kill Clip roll. You need something there helping with stability. And you can actually even double stack it, guys. You can go Elemental Capacitor, Rocket Void Subclass, combine that with Dynamic Sway. I've utilized the same roll before on Summoner. It's nasty. Or you can actually go tap the trigger with Dynamic Sway. The problem with all of this is that at the end of the day, even though you're stacking everything for consistency, which is what we try to do, especially with 600 round per minute auto rifles, you are always going to be at a disadvantage. 0.93 seconds is our time to kill value. You got to have something here boosting lethality. And unfortunately, on the random rolls here, Swashbuckler is all we got. That's it. I mean, you got Vorpal, which is still okay for PvE, but not ideal for PvP, especially for a primary weapon. So for my suggestions on this, guys, if you're looking just for a nice, consistent roll, tap the trigger, dynamic, elemental capacitor, dynamic, or eye of the storm and dynamic. Eye of the storm is something that can definitely help you throughout the gunfight, squeezing off that last crit shot damage. I actually really like it on auto fire weapons. It's like the gun starts firing for you the lower your health gets. That would be my consistent roll suggestion. Outside of that, dynamic swashbuckler, you know what I mean? Or just rock the curated roll. Like really, really. Everything here just screams to me, the curated roll is still the way to go. It does have some other perks that might aid it. You can rock things like unrelenting, which allows for defeated targets to trigger that health regeneration. This applies for both PVE and PVP, although a more one-to-one -one ratio inside of PVP. It's not bad. Again, everything we're choosing here roll-wise is in the hopes that 450s are going to get some sort of adjustment, but I wouldn't hold your breath. Moving on to PVE though. Oh, obviously Swashbuck is still the way to go. Vorpal is also a great option and actually Vorpal in four times the charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to mess up that champion? Boom. Although unfortunately, there's no disruption break, man. Now, obviously, so is a kinetic weapon. It won't have disruption, but I was like, man, what if? What if Bungie put disruption break on a kinetic weapon, especially a kinetic auto rifle? It applies the buff to itself. Listen to me, fellas. You know it'd be nasty. But unfortunately, that's not present. So yeah, four times a charm, Vorpal. That's the way to go. Four times a charm. Swashbuckler is the way to go. Maul again, Swashbuckler. And again, Maul again in armor piercing rounds proc together. Keep that in mind. You can actually go armor piercing rounds, Maul again, Swashbuckler, and you will have a machine of an auto rifle. I actually really want to play with this role. I've actually done a clip of this armor piercing rounds, mulligan, triple tap with Reckless Oracle, and you just never stop firing. That is a fantastic combo here, guys. Armor piercing rounds, mulligan, swashbuckler will be your baby. PvE players, you gotta get it. And even when I look at the reviews of this, no one even talks about this combination. Again, as bullets are going through enemies with armor piercing rounds, it procs mulligan the entire time. Mulligan just sits there and procs over and over again. Combine that with the damage of Swashbuckler. Maybe you start off with a melee hit to get Swashbuckler times five and then start proccing Mulligan and armor piercing rounds together. Oh my God. Honestly, we're going to individually review that role for this. I already know it's going to be good. Just know right now, as you're obtaining ciphers to get this auto rifle, do not part ways with that role. So guys, that is our review there for Braytech Werewolf. The beautiful auto rifle. I actually really like the look of it. I know it's a reissued of a reissued weapon. I get it. I know your feelings about it. At the same time, we had a lot of, I guess, new players in the stream yesterday asking us about these auto rifles. They want to know if Horror Story is worth going after, if Braytech is worth going after. I would say between the two, Braytech is definitely the better option. And again, with the rolls that we just mentioned here, those weapons will be perfect for just being an ad clearing weapon. And if 450s ever get a slight buff in the future inside of Crucible, this curated roll is really, really solid. Very consistent. I very much like it. My only complaint is I wish some of the curated perks here was also present in the random rolls. But whatever. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Braytech. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Yeah.